Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Arun, who recently cracked the Power BI interview at Deloitte, which is a big four firm you all know. So we'll discuss how he eventually got the call from Deloitte. Plus, at the same time, what all things, what all topics were asked in the interview. So all those things we will discuss. And one thing I can tell you beforehand, his journey to reach to this position to get recruited in Deloitte as the Power BI developer was very tough. You will definitely relate with his journey. So let's start the video. And before that, if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because you won't find the content like this anywhere else on YouTube. Plus, you can also follow me on Instagram where you will find job related vacancies or updates, whatever you say, and short videos on data analytics domain. And friends, please do hit the like button because your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this. So do hit the like button. Now let's head towards the session. Hi Arun, how are you? Yeah, hi Shashank, how I am fine. How about you? I am also doing good. Uh, Arun, so can you give some background, educational background of yours and can you briefly introduce about your whatever you have done till now? Mm, yeah, I can give you. Like, uh, hi, uh, hi all, my name is Sarumar Nilango and I hold a bachelor's degree in Computer Science and Engineering from Sri Krishna College of Technology in Coimbatore, which I completed on 2020. And my professional journey began as an application development analyst at uh, Accenture. So overall, how much experience you have currently? Uh, three years. Okay. If I if I go backward, like when did you resign from Accenture? Because uh, if I'm right, Accenture has three months notice period. So yes. like you, a lot of people have this problem of, of no three months notice period. So yeah. when did you give resignation and did you have any kind of offer when you resigned from Accenture? Uh, no, I didn't have any offer when I resigned. I resigned by about uh, March end or April starting. Okay. So March end or April starting, you gave the resignation. So. Uh, you didn't have any offer. So how did you get the courage to give the resignation? Because if anyone else is there, like he or she will think like 10, 20 times before giving resignation. So how did you get that courage to uh, give resignation without having any offer in hand? Yeah, uh, I already planned like to switch from Accenture uh, in the previous year itself, like 2022 itself. Okay. So I was planning a little bit like uh, how to study, where to study. I was just gathering the information till March that time. Mm -hmm. So after uh, that, uh, I decided that uh, I got the resources. So let's try this and uh, just uh, like a bucket list. I kept it like uh, within this year, I should get into any consulting firm as uh, related to uh, job roles related to data mm -hmm. analyst. So you so, didn't think that if you don't get any offer in the next three months, like you were fine with that, right? Yeah, my parents were also like encouraging me like, okay, you know the field, uh, we, we will not be involved in this, but you know that uh, we are a little bit uh, not uh, well to do. So what you, uh, it's in your hands. So take care of yourself. Like they were encouraging me. So in the next three months, did you get any interview call? After uh, getting the notice period? Everything was like uh, you have to pay a thousand rupees or some X amount so that you can clear the first row rounds, only the manager round, like all the fake jobs. Okay. Only like that so, I was so getting. In not the next three months, you didn't get any interview call also, right? No, not the original ones. Okay, you, you were yeah. getting some fake fake calls, fake interview calls. Yeah. So without having any offer and in the next three months, which was the notice period duration, no interview calls you got, right? No. So no, like yeah. how, how are you managing your uh, mental state during this period? Because if you're not, if you have already resigned, you have not got any offer, you're not getting an interview call because this happens yeah. with uh, everyone, right? So yes, they, yes. they become frustrated, they, they get depressed also sometimes. So how are you managing these things during this period? Because you didn't have anything at that time. Yeah, like I was more focused on learning the domain rather than getting the job immediately with the higher package and all. I was not focused on that part. I was focused only on the learning path uh, mm -hmm. till that uh, three months got over. Mm -hmm. So like if I get the rejection mails, okay, then I'll be thinking like, okay, my resume is not great enough to get selected or I lack some skill what they're looking for, like all those reasons. So what I did was I 
gone through every every youtube video like uh, gathered information like what are the skills these companies are looking for and also through linkedin and i uh, gathered all the information and i was like learning those skills if we consistently do something uh, it will come to you i believe in that uh, yeah okay. so i was so just once once yeah. your notice period was completed so after how much time yeah. uh, you got uh, the first interview call Uh, after the notice period completed after uh, i think after uh, one and a half months it took time like i was creating my ats friendly resume everything mm-hmm. the linkedin network like everything i was doing side by side while i was learning mm-hmm. so it took me one and a half months more okay uh, after the notice period yeah okay so okay so did you clear that first interview no i didn't clear like i didn't get any reply from the hr like uh, okay. they gave one task through an e- email mm-hmm. uh, i did it and sent and uh, i didn't get any reply from them so okay. yeah some interviews like it was like that i didn't okay. get any reply when did you got the interview call from deloitte and like uh, linkedin i connected to those people who already are working mm-hmm. as a data analyst or hr like i would show them my website i would show them what all i have done so when they are impressed like uh, they will inform that okay i have referred to this role we have an opening mm-hmm. so like only one out of 50 people will reply okay so yeah like that uh, i was uh, i do i don't even remember like talking to her it mm-hmm. took more than uh, one month for her to reply me So okay. like randomly on one day I just got a message from LinkedIn like uh, I have referred for you for this role we have this uh, opening in this location okay. so like uh, give it a try like that I got the message so yeah I didn't know like if I give a referral like today like tomorrow we will get the call not mm-hmm. like that it will take mm-hmm. time yeah so after sending uh, messages to like random people on 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 LinkedIn basically so after uh, some time you got a reply from one person and that person yes. referred you in deloitte right yes, and this yes. happened after how many months of your resignation because uh, five months have already passed so i think five to six, six yeah. months around right so yes, after yes. six months you got the call interview call and mm-hmm. that is basically your first may i can say directly it will be a first interview call right where you are actually giving the interview yeah yeah so even if you are experienced professional and mm. with uh, like having 3 years of experience still you had to uh, face a lot during this period right yeah because there was some recession period going on the mm. market was down so we have to adjust ourselves to the situation as well yeah so friends we can learn from uh, arun's journey that even if uh, you're not getting the calls or even if you are having 3 months notice period it is fine to give resignation if you think your work culture in your existing company is toxic or you're not able to uh go ahead in your career in that particular company so you can think about it in this way the way arun has thought and finally after 6 months of uh, a tough period i would say he has uh, cracked the interview at deloitte for the power bi role right arun yes yes okay. yes session now come now we can come to the uh, interview part specifically uh, for the power bi role at deloitte so how many interview rounds it ha- uh, happened in deloitte uh it was around 3 rounds two technical rounds and the last one was hr round so okay. what exact skills uh, they asked during these two rounds uh for this job role they were mostly uh, specific to sql 70% and okay. power bi 30% okay. so they were focusing more on sql part now yeah. let's focus on uh, sql so what 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 all topics you can tell to the audience that, that they can also focus more Uh, what I did was I started learning like from the interview part I can say that uh, please focus on the joins, Windows functions, sub queries, uh, common table expressions like all the concepts. Be clear and practice more on those concepts because uh, nowadays the companies are targeting more on that stuff. Okay. Actually, I was asked more questions on joins part, not uh, on the rest. Like they they asked me. but mm-hmm. more specifically on the joins part yeah okay so you have to be very much clear with the joins part with each and every yes. kind of scenario they can ask out of out of uh, yeah. joins concept right yes and in in both the rounds like uh, uh, individually if i will ask so sql and power bi both were asked or it was separate round for sql and separate round for power bi no they asked both in all the rounds like uh, on the first technical round they asked uh, 
uh, like they asked about 15 to 20 questions if i remember yeah 15 to 20 questions and it was and like it covered 10, both sql and power bi yeah 10 questions were on sql and the five questions were on power bi what about power bi if i come to power bi part so what were topics you were asked uh, they just asked uh, if you know what is dax do you know how to write the dax queries and they focused more on the power query editor part okay. more, uh, rather than all the other parts yeah okay so that's all that is also a learning for the audience that you can't leave any section of power bi as it like you can't take it for granted any any section of power bi as you can see from arun's example so power query was the main section in which he was targeted in the interview you expect yeah. something but you can be asked and you can be targeted some other section in the interview so you have to be prepared with every section of power bi uh, one more thing i would uh, ask here uh, how much percentage hike did they give on your on your last salary what they yeah. were meeting that yes uh, they provided me with uh, what i asked them like i got around uh, uh, more than 80% hike from what i was already receiving uh, i checked uh, all the linkedin glassdoor google like how much uh, they are providing the delight is providing for uh, a resource uh, with my experience and my skills mm-hmm. and accordingly i asked them the compensation that part and they also they were also like okay we are ready to give them and yeah Can you talk about uh, how did you prepare for SQL and uh, Power BI? Yeah, because uh, there are more like online resources to study. Like uh, I used to watch the YouTube channels and uh, like for SQL, there is uh, Ankit Bansal. He is okay. very good in explaining the concepts and all. For Power BI, there is uh, yeah, it's uh, your channel. Learn with gigs and analytics with nags. He also explains the SQL part. Like yeah, I have. Uh, made uh, some posts regarding the free resources in my linkedin channel uh, profile so okay. if you guys like have a look at it you can get yeah so i believe i have covered all the things uh, that you that i wanted to discuss the audience will learn from your journey and uh, they will get insights from whatever you have spoken and they will definitely implement this this in their career also so thank you so much arun for coming and sharing your experience yeah it's my pleasure